My name is Festa Zouko, working for Forum for International Cooperation. Over the last two days, we have been in a workshop together with 30 CBOs talking about just transition, especially for young people of Nairobi County. The International Solidarity Campaign and Project in Kenya has been sponsored or made possible through the support of the European Union through Solidarity or Solida. FIC is a member of the Solida Network and FIC is implementing together with Youth Alive Kenya, working together with 30 community-based organizations. The Organizing International Solidarity Campaign is aimed at strengthening young people's knowledge and participation in ensuring a just transition in Kenya. Thanks to the European Union for the support. My official names are Salomi Njerim Bogua, but well known and commonly known as Delik Samoa Dev, Kiambu County, Kabete South County, Uthiru Ward, in a village called uh, Gitwamba. And I come from an organization called Kiambu Working Group and the Viru Rescue Team. And uh, I've really enjoyed the training about just transition. And my take home is that uh, for the youths, uh, is if you're not on the table, definitely you're in the menu. And you should uh, just uh, be you should just be active and just uh, be yourself and fight for what you know is right and echo your voice. My name is Joylin Victor in Tom. I work with Activista, Activista is all over Kenya, and I also work with Smile and Hope Foundation. I'm from Nairobi County. So basically the key things that worked out in this training is everyone has a role to play in uh, climate change. Uh, the things that we can do is uh, we can do advocacy, we can uh, enlighten people because many people die because of lack of knowledge. So by the time we are sensitizing people in uh, climate change, they, or they can know their roles, they can know their responsibilities, they can know their duties and what is intended for them to do for us to have a climate uh, to have to go back to that uh, season where we were just everything was working out for us well. Me being a community health volunteer that is a CHV and a member community representative I'll make sure that if uh, the next time I go door to door I'll make sure that I preach this gospel of just transition and I'll emphasize on uh, my households on uh, climate change and everything that it, it entails. I'm planning to do a step down training for the members of my organizations that is Smiling Hope and the Activista so that the, the knowledge that I gained from this training cannot just be my own but I can also go share with other people because uh, now that I was here I'm representing some other people. When I go back to the community I intend to share with them so that everyone can know what is expected of them. Yes, and um, my advice to the youth is uh, they should just not sit back and relax. They should uh, commit themselves to doing what uh, what is uh, youthful to them at this time because we all know that youth, uh, we have two things that are very valuable, that is time and energy. And if we, we install very well in these things, they can, they can really work well with us. So thank you so much. Yeah. My key message to the youth this evening or this time is that usipo jituma, utatubwa na utatumeka. And then if you are not in the table, and then you are in the menu. So it's we, all of us as youths, we have a role to play and uh, good, uh, good work for the past who are doing something well. Thank you. In our country, Kenya, there are so many people who are going to be affected. A population that is majorly young people below the age of 25 will be adversely affected even as we grapple with the issues of climate change and climate adaptation. There are some key issues that stand out that we can be able to look into. Number one is the whole issue of understanding. Understanding what is just transition. What is the effect of climate change in our lives, in our livelihoods. It is going to affect young people economically, it's going to affect young people socially and in different aspects. These sessions where we've been talking and exchanging ideas is to look at how can we enhance and facilitate just transition. Our legislators also need to know about 
how to legislate policies and actions that will help us to transit smoothly, to transit justly. Secondly, resourcing on the whole issue of just transition. We cannot put a budget to it or we have not put good budget to it as a country because we do not also understand. So as the understanding and public awareness is built, then we will make decisions that will help us to transit justly. Thank you so much. Join us in the conversation on just transition and let's find solutions together.